Good morning. Super exhausted. I just brushed my teeth. I washed my face. And the next thing I do is drink a glass of water and then walk the dog. Walking the dog is my first priority. I feel bad even just like going to the bathroom before I walk him. So <laughs> I'm gonna go get that done and um, yeah, I'll start my day from there. I might actually take a nap, I don't know. I'll see how I feel after the walk. Alright, so I'm back in bed. Um, I'm just going to take a quick nap because I was up pretty late last night. Um, and if I don't, I just won't make it through the day. So I'll sleep for another hour or so and then I'll get up and get some work done. I have a pretty busy day today. I don't think I'm going to do everything I want to do. But we'll try. Hey, Rocky. What? What? Okay, so I just woke up. That's a bit longer. Um, I don't know why I'm so exhausted. I think because I'm about to start my period. I feel it. My body feels it, I feel it mentally, I'm super drained and um, I'm just using my regular <laughs> skincare. Um, this is the, the Ordinary Natural Moisturizing Factors plus HA. It's the only moisturizer that works for my skin that doesn't break me out. And I have been getting um, breakouts this week, not from my cream, <laughs> from my uh, period coming. I feel like we can't catch a break, it's just we're always bleeding. <laughs> Do you feel that way? <laughs> it's like, it's, I'm, I'm grateful, but. I just feel like I just had a period. It's crazy how <laughs> quickly time is going by. And um, now I'm going to use the Ordinary Niacinamide 10% plus zinc 1%. And this has really helped keep um, my pimples, like my acne, I don't know, I don't have acne, but I guess because I have oily skin, I break out really easily, and this really has helped keep my skin as clear as it can. And I know that these pimples are prob not these ones, these ones <laughs> just come and go when my period um, is coming. But I do get like really clogged up pores because my pores are really big. Probably from sun damage. I wouldn't be surprised. I love being in the sun. I just love the warmth on my skin. I don't know if you guys can understand that. But I just, I just can meditate just feeling the warmth on my bones. <laughs> like I'm not meant to be in cold climates. I 
can tell you that. Oh, and that's why I'm so excited for summer. I'm just so, so excited. Okay. So it does get kind of like sticky. It dries like really uh, smooth, but it does make my face look like I'm oily and I'm not. It's just, and I kind of like the shine and like it makes my skin feel tight. And you know what? I bought everything to make my lip balm and I still have not made it. I did make some cream, some uh, body butter, which is really nice. I'm gonna put some deodorant on. I know I'm still in my pajamas. I stay in my pajamas till I have to leave the house. And once I get back home, I get back in my pajamas. Now this was a free sample. This is a sample, could you believe that this was a sample? I don't usually use per, um, deodorant like this, but I got it as a sample. Not sure if it's vegan. I'm hoping uh, so, but it doesn't say, so I'm guessing it's not, but I got it as a sample and, uh, just as I didn't, wasn't going to use it, but then I was just in a rush one day and I used it and it smells really good and it works. I usually use a crystal, so you wet the crystal and then you just rub it on your skin. It takes, like, for it to, like, people say it doesn't work, but it does. You just have to really, like, work it on your skin. Sometimes I'll work it in the palm of my hand just to get it like mixed in with the water. And then um, it works. Like I'm Italian and I can tell you that I stink. <laughs> like, I stink. So if it works for me and it works all day throughout the next day, like I, I don't understand people who say it doesn't work. And then I'm just going to put some Moroccan oil. It's been so long since I, I've been using this. Like, it's so long. It's probably since hairdressing school. Hairdressing school or when I worked at one of the salons. And um, it smells so good. And I just used the tiniest bit. It's kind of pricey. For this small bottle, it costed 20 or 30 dollars i think it was 20 about um but you just really need like the smallest for me i need the smallest amount otherwise it's gonna weigh my hair down but i just oh, i feel like it just makes my hair less frizzy um it kind of brings like my i don't have like a huge curl in my hair but i do have some form of curl pattern so like you can see i have like a wave curl and it's only started to really come out when I cut my hair and I think because my hair was just really weighing down I had a bit of curl on the bottom but now my hair is like really showing uh it's curls so I'm really liking that and I wish that it would just <laughs> curl a little bit more because my mom has really curly hair my brother has really curly hair my niece got their hair and it's like I don't know. <laughs> I really love curly hair. So yeah, that's literally my everyday routine. My everyday routine. I don't wear makeup. I actually just bought a bunch of vegan makeup. Don't know when I'm gonna wear it, don't know where I'm gonna wear it, but I just wanted to have it on hand in case I like to, you know, get a little bit dressed up one day. Summer is coming and I haven't had makeup in years. In years. I went on this no makeup <laughs> journey and I never looked back. I have worn like mascara maybe twice or three times. Um, and then there was one time or two times where I filled in my brow because it was just kind of sparse. And um, yeah, I haven't worn makeup in a long time. And I used to love makeup so it was a pretty big drastic change for me but you know what I really came into myself and I started to really acknowledge 
my natural beauty. All right, so I am just going to um, go downstairs, maybe eat something, and uh, probably do a bit of yoga, and then see how my day is gonna look from there. Pearl couscous and tabbouleh salad, and I am gonna have some kimchi with it. Finally, my coffee is, wow. I hope that is not um, a sign of how my day is gonna be. <laughs> you know what, I was looking through the camera when I was pouring it. and nephew's toys are all in the corner there <laughs> they don't there's not really a designated spot for them they're just kind of everywhere so I just kind of try to pick them up and put them in one place where they can reach them when they come over I'm just gonna have my coffee I'm gonna play with Rocky a bit um throw his ball maybe play some tuggy uh get him a little active before I start editing, gotta edit the video. I'm gonna edit two today, at least two, and I have to film later on. And I do wanna go and see if there's any new plants that I can grab or want. And uh, I'm gonna have to repot my uh, Bird of Paradise because it's just drying out really quickly and um, just needs a bigger pot. So I'm just gonna have my coffee. I don't know if you're like me, but I cannot start my day really without coffee. It's usually the first thing I have. And um, maybe this is like a lazy trait, but I feel like it's just good for my mental health. I think that everybody should probably try it <laughs> if, they, if they haven't. Um, I just like have a coffee and I just kind of sit 
in silence um, on the couch and I just think, and I just think about my day. What's for the day? I think about some of my goals. Like some people journal. So this is my journaling. I just sit and I drink my coffee and I just um, kind of go over my day, my goals. How can I execute things? And it's just really nice. And during this time, I'm able to play with Rocky, give him some attention um, before I just like either film, edit, run errands. And yeah, I just, this is just me time. This is the time that I absolutely have to have every single day, no exceptions. So it's lunchtime and I am going to make a chicken wrap. These are vegan. They don't look appetizing, they're frozen. I put some inside the oven. I'm gonna put these in a plastic bag and I'm just gonna have just a regular uh, wrap for lunch. Okay, <laughs> Rocky, I'm gonna sh try and show you guys how I'm gonna make this wrap. So first I'm gonna use this vegan, sorry, I'm trying to see if it's <laughs> in the camera. This vegan tzatziki sauce, I don't, I had better, but it's not bad. And I'm just going to put it first. I'm not going to put, I'm actually going to put the arugula. I love the taste of arugula. Just, oh my God. It's so much better than lettuce. And I'm going to put that on. And then this is the vegan cheese I use. I find it's like the most authentic. I'm gonna put that there like that so that the chicken can kind of melt it. All right, so obviously it's ready. <laughs> I'm gonna save him a bite. Um, so yeah, really simple, really delicious. For me, it's like a comfort food. If you guys try it, let me know. Um, or if you guys have any other ideas, share them in the comments. So here's my dinner. I had to make it really quick because I have to edit and I was just cooking Rocky's. Uh, meal prep for the week pretty tired so I just made a really quick meal this is a like um, a packaged pre-packaged uh, noodle and I put a salad on the side there's parsley arugula mushrooms peppers and a vegan Caesar dressing and on the side it is kimchi it looks really gross it is really good I promise um, just wanted to show you guys that you can make simple meals and still feel fulfilled as a vegan. I'm just gonna watch 90 Day Fiance while I eat. I love that show, it just helps me to unwind. <laughs> Rocky's walking away because I didn't give him any of my food. I'm just gonna watch that while I eat. And then I will probably do a QA and a um, and cap the video there. It's been a really long day. I just finished doing Rocky's meal prep. Um, I wanted to make some treats here with you guys uh, from Canine Kitchen. I'll link them down below. Amazing channel, amazing Instagram page. They're ju just so many ideas. It's insane. I would never have thought uh, to make these recipes. Go and check them out. Rocky loves every single recipe I've made him. Of course, he loves food and he loves treats. There's lots of treat recipes. There's uh, slow cooker recipes for your dogs. Um, I just get a lot of my inspiration from there. As you know, I cook Rocky all his meals. So I'm always looking for ideas on uh, how to make his meals more fun and interesting so he's not always like seeing the same thing. All right. Hello again. I think this is going to be the last time we see each other in this video. Um, I just wanted to answer a few questions that you guys asked when I posted a story. I said, ask me any questions that you might have. I'll answer them in my vlog. So I did put them on my computer so I can actually see them because <laughs> I'm filming on my phone. Um, so yeah, I'll just um, answer a few of them today and maybe I'll answer the rest another time. Again, if you ever have any questions, feel free to comment them below and I will save them for a later 
date. So the first one is, do you practice yoga every day? Do you prefer morning or night? I prefer night yoga just because it's super relaxing and it just like, it almost gives me like a high, but it changes all the time. Sometimes I really just love starting my day, day with yoga and I truly believe that with yoga, you can set the tone for your entire day, your mood, how you go forward in your day. It just like yoga just makes you feel so grateful. It'll have you smiling, walking down, down the street, <laughs> walking to school or work. And do I practice every day? So I'm going to say lately, no. I don't want to say I haven't found the time to because there is time in the day to even practice for five minutes. And I would say... In a way, maybe I do, because I do stretch during the day. Like even like when I'm sitting here, I'll do like a breathing exercise for like three minutes, two minutes. Like I'll twist and just bring the oxygen in with my chair. And that would be, an, that would be a fun video, huh? <laughs> Coming up with ideas. Um, but um, yeah, so in a way, yes. But like, do I flow on the mat? every single day at the moment no i haven't been especially like if we're talking about like a personal practice it's sometimes really hard for me to get in a personal practice when i am filming so much so um if i film like five videos in one day i probably don't want to do yoga the next day it's just like I need a bit of a breather, I guess, when you have too much of the same thing. And it's not like I'm just practicing one class a day. I'm filming <laughs> multiple in one day, sometimes day after day. So uh, yeah, it's hard to explain, but I do recommend doing it every day, even if it's just five minutes. I'm just falling out of the groove, but gonna try and get back in there. I'm just trying to be <laughs> transparent with you guys. I'm human too. Um, so yeah, I'll, I pro I'll probably do it like maybe like four days and I'll skip two days in the week. So it's probably not that bad, but, um, yeah, not every day recently. How long have you been practicing yoga? Um, I think I answered this in my last video. I think it was like, I started around 21 or 22. Um, would you ever drop your own yoga wear or mats? You know what? I'm not, I don't know. Maybe if, if a brand ever wanted to collaborate with me, that'd be super cool. Um, but like owning my own brand, I don't think so. I don't think that that's something I'm passionate about. I love teaching yoga and I just love doing yoga. I just like yoga wear. And it's so funny that you asked this question because I do so and make my own outfits at some of my uh, earlier photos on uh, Instagram, I made my own yoga wear just because the outfits on the market were so expensive and I couldn't afford them. So I would just go to the fabric store and create something that I just absolutely loved that wasn't out there. And I would make it for like $10. <laughs> and uh, actually one of my most popular video, I made the outfit in that video. You can just head over to my yoga channel and check that out if you're curious. Um, so I love sewing. I just don't like my passion isn't to own my own yoga wear brand or like matte brand. I would love to collaborate with, with a brand and create stuff, but just owning it. I don't think that's, that's my thing. The next question is, are you conscious about your screen time? Yes and no. Uh, the only time I'm conscious about it is when I'm feeling pain in my arm or my wrist and I suffer a lot from pain from just being on my phone all the time. And uh, I'm really, really bad. Like I'm really bad. <laughs> like I, just can scroll through my phone and it's not just like I'm scrolling like I'm also doing work so of course but I do like dilly dally and like scroll a little too excessively but I don't beat myself up about it 
Like, why am I gonna beat myself up about something I wanted to do in that moment? It's not hurting anybody. It is causing me pain. So as soon as I feel that pain, I'm more conscious about it for the week ahead. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to stay off my phone for the next two hours. I'm not going to pick it up and I'll just like put it down and kind of forget about it while I go on about my day. Where do you get your leggings? They are all so cute. So I get my leggings from a bunch of different places. Uh, most of my outfits are from Liquido Active. You can actually use my affiliate code. Um, Liquido Bird, I think it is. You can use that for some uh, money off your orders. Um, Liquido, they're just such buttery, soft material and they just like, oh, they're so comfortable. They really do, like when I say second skin, it's like nothing you've ever felt before. So I just love their material, um, but I'm actually starting to move towards more neutrals. So I'm hoping to get some, some of their more neutral uh, outfits to wear. And um, recently I've been loving Isabel Moon. They had sent me some pieces, I think last month it was, and I absolutely love them. I ended up ordering some more uh, with my own money. Uh, so you know that they are amazing. They're so cute. Um, and I'll link everything down below. Uh, you can actually use my affiliate code. Again, any codes that I give you are my ambassador affiliate codes. Um, for Isabel Moon, it's Yoga with Bird. And you can, of course, get some money off your order if you're curious. And... Um, the next one that I'm super obsessed with, uh, no affiliate code <laughs> yet, <laughs> maybe one day, um, is Skatey. Oh my God. So in my, I don't know if you saw my reel and my last, I think yoga video, it's like a, a bodysuit short. So it's like shorts, but like a bodysuit. Those are just the most comfortable outfit you can possibly wear during yoga and I will be stocking up on like every single pattern they have I know I'm like trying to go for neutrals but I just they're so comfortable I don't care what it looks like they're just so comfortable um and also like you can wear them out and about too just like put on like a crop hoodie maybe if someone said any advice to the single girls who are looking for love yes stop looking <laughs> <laughs> now I say that because like just let it happen when it happens it happens it's just my personal opinions but when you try to force it you're not really maybe some people find their true love I don't know but in my opinion you're not really gonna find that one um when it happens, it happens and you're going to know. All right, so I think that will be uh, it. I still have a few more questions, but I will uh, save them for next time. And um, if you do have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. Um, I actually didn't get to go to the plant store today and I didn't repot my bird of paradise. It's just been really hectic crazy day so um hopefully i'll do that in another video <laughs> and yeah thank you guys for watching if you like these videos please give it a thumbs up let me know in the comments below so i know to make more um and i really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch these and get to know me more and to even just message me and tell me um how you relate uh, with me. It's really nice to know that we're not alone. And I know I say that a lot, but I really, really mean that because I used to feel really alone. So when you guys alone in my struggles, so when you guys, uh, message me and talk to me, it's just nice to be there for you guys and for you guys to be there for me. And it's just, it makes like such a beautiful community. <laughs> of like-minded souls who are on a very similar journey. 
So I appreciate you guys and I'm grateful that you are here and sharing this space with me and taking the time to watch this video. Please like it below, subscribe if you're not, and turn on the bell notification because without that you won't know about my new uploads. YouTube just won't notify you. I don't know why they did that, but <laughs> that's their new way of working. And until next time, I will see you. Namaste.